Hello, 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 everyone. It is fantastic to see you all here in this very special masterclass all on winter skin tips. Hello, Valerie. I was actually thinking about you. I have some exciting news to share with you in particular. So please do send me an email info at the school of radiance.com and look forward to reconnecting with you, Valerie. Hello, Tracy. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Lynn, Carrie, Kelly, Karen, Jennifer. Oh, my mom's here. Hi, mom. <laughs> Elizabeth, Elena, Debbie, and AR. It's fantastic to have you all here. And today's masterclass is all on winter skin tips. I don't know about you, but this winter has been a particularly challenging one going from a humid climate, a warmer climate to then, of course, the Pacific Northwest on Vancouver Island, which I call home. Hi, Elena. Thank you for the wave. And I warmly invite any questions you all have in the chat. So feel free to directly ask your questions in the chat. I won't be doing any uh, video questions here and commentary that way, just in the chat so that it is a little bit easier for those who are catching the replay to follow along. And this is one of the fun things about joining live on these masterclasses is it's sort of like office hours and pretty much ask me anything you want with the topic of today's masterclass on winter skin tips. So we have a number of clinic clients. Hello, I see you again, exciting news coming. And also lots of my beautiful online clients from across the globe, one-on-one -on -one clients, skincare tutorial students, as well as membership students. Now, one of the cool things about working with me, in case you're new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Rachel Varga. And I'm a double board certified aesthetic nurse specialist since 2011 with a focus in oculoplastics. Now, what does that mean? Well, the eyes are actually the first area of the face to show signs of aging. And it's a very delicate area to rejuvenate. And it takes a special touch. Let's just say that. And actually, I'm also a researcher too. So my first research article was on eye aging. Then I've written a number of other research articles, which you can easily find on my website over at theschoolofradiance.com. I'll put that in the chat. And I'm really passionate about education and really helping people save time and money as well as avoid the gimmicks. And also even products or rejuvenation options that just aren't very healthy and there are cleaner versions available. And having been in the industry for so long, hi, Valerie, I really look forward to seeing you actually in person. So that's some of the big news coming. Uh, so that's why it's good for us to stay in, in touch. And one, one of the things I just wanna mention about a lot of the clients I work with is they're really special people. I'm not for everybody by any means. You could go on YouTube and get access to really general information even from practitioners themselves, unfortunately, that are just really pushing products that, you know, have parabens, phthalates, sulfates, artificial dyes, fragrances, or tested on animals, and just really don't even compare to more practitioner grade skincare. So that's really what I work with. That's one of the benefits of tuning in here on masterclasses, of course, the School of Radiance podcast, and you can actually shop everything on my skin shop. So if you just go to my main website, you can check out my skin shop and shop easy for actually really getting everything that you might need from skincare to makeup, hair, skin, nail supplements, as well as supplements to, you know, help with sleep and hormones, it's collagen on there. And I'm really also passionate about sharing information on at-home dermal rolling, home peels and retinol. So you can find all my products over on my new, my main website. And then for those of you who have been in my tutorials, hi, Michelle then that's really where I teach how to use your products. And every season I do something called a seasonal skin tutorial because every season we need to focus on different things. So in the winter time in particular, what are your guesses that are some of the most common things that we experience? 
I'll give you a hint. Dryness. Who has experienced more dryness with their skin over this winter season? I don't know about you, but I certainly have. And what's unique about the winter season is it's actually a really great time to bump up your at-home dermal rolling, your use of peels, your use of retinols, which I have extensive tutorials on that. So the one-on-one is really where I give you your customized recommendations and ongoing support through calls just like this, actually. And then in the tutorials, I actually take you into my restroom and show you exactly how to use your products. And through seven weeks, I guide you on a journey from basic to advanced protocols. The other really cool thing about the winter time is that it is the perfect time to rejuvenate your skin. And yes, Michelle says dry skin. I mean, I'm 37 now and I'm really starting to notice shifts in my skin. So whether you are perimenopause, menopause, postmenopause, actually different stages of life, there are different things that the skin needs a little extra support with. So during perimenopause, ages 37 to 42, we tend to start to notice that initial drop of collagen and elastin, as well as shifts like maybe more pigmentation that can be due to hormones and also oxidative stress. And again, if you're new here, I actually wrote a recent research article on oxidative stress and why that's important for the skin is if any of you were dealing with things like redness and sensitive skin, itchy eyes, red puffy eyes, irritation to the scalp, even irritation to around the mouth. Oftentimes, since, since I've been doing this since 2011, working in the clinic and then expanding to offering consultations for people across the globe. I think in about 2017, people didn't really know what I was doing, talking to people on a computer screen. This is really before people knew what Zoom was. I tend to be a little bit of a leader in my space and innovate and just notice where things are going pretty quickly. And that's also really applicable for you to know in regards to different skin ingredients and skin rejuvenation. So when it comes to rejuvenation, Tracy, she asked the question, which is, completely relevant to today's topic. What do you think of IPL? What are the benefits? I have a lot of wrinkles and want to prevent skin cancer, which is great, but I also spend a lot of time outside. So let's break this down. There's a couple of different parts to this question. Excellent question, Tracy. And I do invite you to keep the questions coming in the chat. It just adds to the breadth and depth of what we talk about on these really fun live masterclasses. So what do I think about IPL? Well, I had my IPL about three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago now, on my face, neck, chest, arms, and hands. Now, why did I do that? Intense pulse light is a type of rejuvenation technology. It's typically put under the category of a laser, but it isn't a true laser. It's actually intense pulsed light. So that's why I don't make general statements as to, you know, I love IPL or I love resurfacing because in the IPL category, you can think of it like a family. You have the parent, which is the general term IPL. And then you also have, you know, coming off from that different brands of IPL and some are better than others. Some are more, honestly, I'm just going to straight up say it more effective than others, more comfortable and faster. And what do I think about IPL? Well, I love it, but I do like a specific technology. So when you've had a one-on-one with me, you get that that, uh, very, very direct guidance as to what my favorite pieces of technology are. I'm not going to mention it because that's free advertising for those companies. But then what I also do is if you're not local, I recommend where to go based on if I know the clinicians in the clinic or if they have the technology that I like. So intense pulse light, you can actually think about it and it's perfect to do in the winter. The fall and winter are really the laser skin rejuvenation season. That's what it's known as in the medical aesthetics industry. And the reason why is we're typically inside a little bit more and we don't have as much of a tan. That tan has faded and you're still left with some of the signs of aging like hyperpigmentation, skin redness, broken capillaries, And this is really a good time to utilize your skincare at home to do some of the heavy lifting with your skincare, with your dermal rolling, with peels. There's even certain supplements 
that are proven to help fade pigmentation. Um, and just a quick shout out to the brightening formula on my skin shop. Love that one. That's a nutraceutical made in France that they've been producing, I think, for about 18 years now, backed by third party independent research articles. Just a little plug here. I definitely want to warn you from purchasing products and hair, skin, nail supplements online. I actually just had a client reach out. She previously purchased an eye cream from me and loved it and found a better deal on another website. And uh, she actually had a reaction from that. So she reached out and she said, hey, I'm having a reaction to this product. And I looked on her orders and didn't see that she'd ordered recently. And then she said, oh, I got it from this other website. And so I checked out the website because I was thinking right away, gosh, this might be a counterfeit product. If the deal seems too good to be true, it probably is. There is no way a company can make money with touting a product or multiple products that they sell at 70% off. Sounds a little too good to be true, doesn't it? So then it begs the question, okay, where are they buying these products from? Is it directly from the manufacturer, which is what I do? Or are they getting it from a third party? And a number of years ago, there was a documentary on Netflix called, it was called Broken. And it was actually highlighting the skincare and cosmetics industry as being you know, almost right up there in regards to the drug trafficking trade, in regards to how much money counterfeit products generate. So please, please, please do not buy anything that you put on or in your body from these really big auction style websites. Or if the price seems a little too good to be true, please just save yourself from potentially buying a fake product. Like one of my clients did, you know, you'd think they'd know better from having invested time and energy and working with me one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, but, you know, sometimes people are just a little bit of a sucker for a good deal. Just something to consider that when you are buying products on websites, you don't really know anything about the website. That's a whole different situation of exactly where they're sourcing their products from. So in that communication with that client of mine, I basically made the assumption that that was probably a fake product and to either ask for your money back or, you know, stop using it immediately because she was getting a lot of eye irritation, which was unusual. But the other thing here, if you are experiencing things like dry eyes and eye irritation in the winter is to really think about your health. And when we think about health, we think about, well, I do as a practitioner and researcher, this term called oxidative stress. Oxidative stress can often come from our environment, such as air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, yes, your cell phone, your cordless phone, the wiring in your home, and also pathogens like yeast, fungi, parasites, and also things like heavy metals and mold. They all contribute to oxidative stress. Otherwise, I like to describe this as your toxic bucket. If this toxic bucket gets too full, it's going to tip over and then you're going to have a presentation of things like fatigue, sleep disturbance, dysregulation and hormones, even some extra weight. <laughs> and mom, don't let me forget how good of a job I did this year with the uh, my, my role as the official cookie taste tester and what I did to fix that from having a little bit more sugar, gluten, dairy, even a little bit more alcohol over the holidays and what I did to fix that. Don't let me forget about that. Now, when it comes to oxidative stress, definitely check out my free 30 minute video on my website. If you go to the website, you go to freebies, you're going to see a 30 minute video, totally free. And it's basically a walkthrough of my recent research article and how to reduce exposure to things in your environment. Like I mentioned before, five things, air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, and pathogens. And I just kind of make it easy to consider what to do about it. And it's always going to be a purification approach for the win before trying to do all these fancy dancy different biohacking tools like red light therapy or taking expensive supplements or getting expensive treatments, it really does come down to you and how you're living your life. 
And I like to take the position of living a really good, healthy, clean life about 99% of the time. And that 1%, I'm going to live a little. Like, for example, over the holidays, which, you know, let me know in the chat if you, you add a little extra indulgences over the holiday season. All right. So getting back to the question from Tracy, what do you think of IPL? I love it. I do this myself. And I've also been offering IPL to my clients for many years. What are the benefits? It's sort of like taking a magic eraser to the skin and then reducing things like redness and browns and broken capillaries. And some of the technologies even tell your skin cells to behave younger. Yes, we can actually do something on an epigenetic level to actually allow your skin cells to behave younger. And there's actually some really cool research on that. So I love IPL, but there's one particular technology I like. So also I can't make a blanket statement that something is good for everybody. Nobody can, that's totally unethical. Not One thing cannot possibly be good for everybody. Uh, say for example, vitamin C or a moisturizer. Some people, that product just might not agree with them. So that's why I also don't make those statements. Um, people of certain skin types and skin tones are going to be better candidate for IPLs than others. You can't have a tan and you really also want to be limiting your sun exposure about two weeks afterwards. But before even thinking about doing an IPL, getting consistent with your at-home skincare routine and again, getting into the focus of today's masterclass, which is winter skin tips, really being consistent with practitioner grade products and a routine that's been customized for you. That's what I provide in my one-on-one. -on -one. And for all of you here, use promo code masterclass15 for special savings. You can, you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me online. And if you're local, just reach out, wink, wink, <laughs> exciting news coming. So I love, I do personally love IPL, but it's not great for everybody. And you do want to be bolstering up your skincare first with your cleanser twice a day. None of this water splashing nonsense. For any of you with skin redness or skin irritation, ask yourself, are you actually cleansing twice a day or using a cleanser twice a day? Or, or are you just splashing with water? Or are you using an oil cleanser? Or are you using a microfiber cloth? Or are you using micellular water? Do you need a microfiber cleansing cloth? No. Do you need a micellular water? No. You just need a really good cleanser. And I have some excellent ones on my skin shop. And I'm also making my own. I'm in the final stage of research and development. But my own cleanser that just rocks. It takes a long time to make a really good product up to my standard from scratch. And uh, just one thing to notice here to mention is you've probably seen a lot of new skincare brands pop up from practitioners and influencers. And a lot of times they just reach out to a company and say, hey, I want to put my name on a cleanser. And then boom, they buy a pre-bought formula with plastic packaging and they put their name on it. Does that mean that they actually made that product? 100% no. That's really common in the medical aesthetics world as well. And just because a practitioner makes a product doesn't mean it's good either. A number of years ago, I checked out a new line from a physician on the West Coast and I used the products and the products were garbage. The, they had such a high content of an ingredient called propylene glycol that it just, it, it felt like antifreeze. Because over the last number of years, I've done some body contouring and with body contouring requires the usage of an antifreeze solution. And it felt just like that, which is just straight up propylene glycol. So sometimes when you're using a product that has a certain feel and consistency, there's reasons for that in ingredients. So there's better ingredients than others to give an emuls, sort of like an emulsion type of feeling with a cleanser and also a slip or a hydration feeling with a serum or moisturizer. That might have been just like a little too technical there, but just so you know, it's so important to be discerning with the products and rejuvenation options you're looking at, because oftentimes I found that the best products and the best rejuvenation options actually aren't heavily marketed. They are not heavily marketed because the companies put more of an emphasis on research and development and education as opposed to marketing because the products and rejuvenation options are so great that they actually don't really have to market it. 
Interesting, isn't that? So what are the benefits of IPL? It basically makes your tone more even and you can get some textural improvements as well. I've even seen things like smaller pores happen and just some more glassy, clear look to the skin. And then of course you want to do the prep work before doing laser to stabilize your skin with your cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen, scrub, being consistent with that. And then also afterwards to care for the skin appropriately. Now, the next part of the question, Tracy, uh, A plus for such a great question. I have a lot of wrinkles and want to prevent skin cancer, but I also spend a lot of time outside. Well, I do too. And in fact, I've already been uh, diagnosed in the past with a precancerous lesion. So depending on our skin type, so say for example, mine, I'm not here to diagnose, you know, other people's skin types. Uh, that's not what I do. Um, be because this is a not medical information, this is educational information only. If you think you have a condition or before making lifestyle modifications, you must seek the guidance of a licensed physician and have a full body scan by your physician or dermatologist to take a look at lesions or pigmented areas that are new and need to be monitored. So when it comes to skin cancer prevention, you know, early detection is always key and really looking after yourself from that oxidative stress status standpoint, keeping that toxic bucket empty will actually allow your body's immune system to ward off mutations, cellular damage, and of course, free radicals, which occur from toxins. That's why I'm so passionate about this oxidative stress status concept for healthy skin, because to get healthy skin and slow aging, it's not just from skincare. It really also comes down to your healthy living habits and a shout out to uh, Valerie. <laughs> you know how I talk about how some people are just the epitome of radiance. Valerie's actually one of them. I've just observed a lot of people over the years who they just tend to navigate the seasons better. So say, for example, springtime or wintertime seasonal shifts, they tend to not experience redness and irritation, which is sometimes happen when there's more pollen around you. So air quality or when the leaves fall and they start to emit um, different mold compounds. Again, hello, air quality. And the reason why cleansing is so important, especially throughout the year, and if you have dry skin, whoever started to tell people to cleanse their face less because someone's skin is dry and sensitive, that's the worst, that's the worst advice ever. The reason why is when particulates rest on the skin and debris rests on the skin of pollutants, most of the body's exposure and intake of heavy metals comes from the air, believe it or not, not necessarily what you eat or drink or do or wear or put on your face. It actually comes from the air. So that's why cleansing is next to godliness. And there's also that saying, rinse away the energy of the day. There's also something to that too. Uh, I go a little bit deeper on a little bit more of the behind the scenes things that I do to really look and feel my best and communicate and have better relationships and really just live better in general, that's more in the membership. That's really where we do a deep dive on things like communication, etiquette, detoxing, balancing things like the masculine and feminine. The membership is a really special place. And I actually added a new payment plan onto the membership so that it's a little bit easier to access. And it's about a 12 month container for transformation. You do all these things, if you live great, if you have better relationships, you can better manage your nervous system, you're inevitably going to slow aging. But there's just some things that I don't talk about publicly for a couple of reasons. And I reserve that more for the membership for those who are really excited to learn about what those strategies are. Now, when it comes to spending a lot of time outside, I spend a lot of time outside as well. And before I learned about this oxidative stress status situation, I would actually burn in about 10, 15 minutes in Canada in the sun. And then after doing about a year and a half of really detoxing and reducing exposure to things in air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, and uh, detoxing, especially parasites and yeast and fungi, heavy metals, mold, all that, 
I can now actually go out in the sun pretty much all day. There's some supplements that I used to help with that and some body care products, but it is possible to be able to enjoy the great outdoors by really looking after yourself and using great products and supporting your body with things like antioxidants. So once I supported my body's immune system, I noticed pretty profound skin changes, such as more hydration, less redness, and a better tolerance to things like oxidative stress that we get from the sun. Now, the tricky thing is we get so much exposure to blue light now. So we actually get more exposure to that form of light, indoor lighting, our technologies, than actually going outside. And that's one of the reasons why I'm wearing these glasses. You can find products like this, different tools that I love to have in my home on my biohacking page at the school of radiance.com. You can actually get these glasses and I even have my prescription in here and they're fantastic. I love them. Um, for most of you, these frames might be a little harsh for a more feminine, lighter look than the Allegria frames from Viva Rays are epic. Love them. So it's not just about it being able to enjoy outside. It's also being able to enjoy inside. That's why making sure your home is a great place that's going to be conducive to being healthy is so important to do. And actually in my tutorials, I have a whole lesson on biohacking backed by my research. I wrote this paper to really create a framework of what can we do that's going to have the biggest impact for our skin. And that's how I came across that piece of information. Like most of the body's exposure to heavy metal is from the air or air quality uh, can actually tell your skin cells, your keratinocytes skin cells to die faster. So that's why I love to do these literary reviews because I'm always learning. And just an FYI, my next skincare tutorial begins this Saturday and definitely register now over at the school of radiance.com. And again, seven weeks I do, I go live each week, just like this, ask your questions. And if you can't make it live, that's okay. Just catch the replay and you'll never miss out. So in seven weeks, you're going to have everything you need to know for how to use your products in a basic way and then also an advanced way. And we talk about pre and post rejuvenation tips for things like intense pulse light or laser skin resurfacing, which is fabulous to do in the winter. All right. Question from Valerie. What is your recommendation for number of weeks between IPL sessions? Excellent question. Now, depending on how much sun damage you have, oftentimes, say if a uh, um, patient of mine, client of mine is about 50 plus, you might want to have about three sessions a month apart. Sometimes people need more than that. And then what's great is to maintain your results with your skincare, with your dermal rolling, different hair, skin, nail supplements, keeping your oxidative stress status low. And then the following year, do some maintenance. And again, maintenance could be again, one to three a year. For me, it's one. And it's, it really just comes down to maximizing what you're doing at home. The effect of now I'm at about 90% home care, 10% in clinic rejuvenation, and my skin's better than ever. But before I did all this oxidative stress status stuff, and I wasn't really as conscious about the cleanliness of products, I was doing about 60% in clinic, 40% home care. I wasn't doing as much. And I actually had to get a laser with, with say, for example, IPL once a month for red acne marks. And now if I get a blemish, it's gone. That, that zit is gone in about three days. And then that redness has, has faded about three days after that. So the healthier you are, so say, for example, if you cut yourself, notice how long it takes you to heal. If say you have a blemish that's lasting a long time or a cut that's lasting a long time, it means your body isn't really regenerating properly because it's likely sort of warding off different toxins, oxidative stress status, right? Toxic bucket. So at the end of the day, we also, we always want to be giving our body the best chance possible to succeed and be healthy and feel great as we age. You should see some of the ladies that uh, I've been playing pickleball with over the last number of months. They're in their sixties and seventies. Some of them are retired tennis pros. They are so fast. They are like little whippersnappers and it's just incredible to see women thriving, men and women thriving as they continue to age. So age isn't anything to be afraid of, but aging 
well isn't going to happen by chance. It's going to happen by choice. Carrie, hey Carrie, do you recommend humidifiers to combat winter dryness? Well, it depends where you are because humidifiers could contribute to more humidity in the home, which, you know, mold is an issue with that. But depending on where you are, so say, for example, you're at altitude, I spent some time in Utah and Arizona, and you definitely need to have some extra hum humidity. But your skincare, so say, for example, you're cleansing, then you follow that up with the bright and clear solution on my skin shop. I love that one for just giving the skin a little extra hydration, but also exfoliation. So some of the causes for dryness is actually not cleansing enough, not rinsing your cleanser off well enough, and not using products that are meeting the needs, what your skin from a hydration perspective. That's also why things like antioxidant serums are great to use in the winter. Some of them are more hydrating than others. I have some great peptide serums on my skin shop. And you simply wash your face, do your eye cream, do that bright and clear solution, serum, moisturizer, sunscreen, makeup, you're good to go. And I know that sounds like a lot, but honestly, my skincare routine with cleansing, eye cream, bright and clear solution, moisturizer, sunscreen, makeup is about 10 minutes. That's with makeup. But if you are not doing makeup, then that's going to be like three minutes. So just because you heard me rattle off a number of steps, it doesn't mean that it's going to take a long time. So that was a really, really good question. And I'm opening it up for other questions as well. And just one second here. All right, those deliveries often come at really fun times, don't they? <laughs> All right, so I hope I answered that question, Carrie, about humidifiers to combat winter dryness. Yes, they can be helpful, but you also might want to bump up your exfoliation and also bump up your usage of antioxidant serums. And also one of the things I talk about in my winter skin tutorials, which my next round is happening this week, so register now, is to switch up your products a little bit because the skin really has different needs between the summer and the winter, right? We would, in the winter time, we want to focus on maybe using some richer creams, especially during the day and evening. And in the spring, summer, something that's going to be a little bit lighter because you might be perspiring a bit more. So that was a really good question. And Michelle, does water spray like Evian face spray work? I am not going to agree with that one. I, I would say that facial sprays like an Evian water spray isn't going to light a candle to some of the other practitioner grade sprays. I actually have one that has different peptides and antioxidants with it. So it's not just water, it's actually feeding and nourishing your skin at the same time. And I'm also creating my own with a special type of water I'm going to have more information on that. But the thing about water is there's so much we can do with water. We can filter it. So say, for example, reverse osmosis. So that's purification, purification with everything, air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, and detoxing. I'm all about being as pure as possible. And there's a reason for that. The most radiant people that I see, they come across very differently. They come across more clear headed they have better memory recall, they're sleeping better, they have better relationships. So that's why learning about this radiant stuff uh, with me here in these master classes and on the, the School of Radiance podcast, the membership is really where we go quite a bit deeper in that because it makes a huge difference. So for hydration, I would say, make sure that you're drinking enough water and make sure it's really good water. But with water, what we can do with it, it's really cool. We can number one, purify it. And then number two, we can also structure it. So when water goes through pipes, it loses its bond angles and how 
water molecules connect with other, other water molecules. So we have the oxygen and then we have two hydrogens coming off it at specific bond angles. And then it basically connects to other water molecules and then you have more water. So we have an atom and then you know the oxygen and hydrogen coming together forms a molecule. So we can structure water because water that's in our bodies and is nature is already structured, but as soon as it goes through those 90 degree angles in pipes, then it does actually change it and actually makes it taste different. Structured water tastes different than non-structured water it actually tastes a lot smoother, but it's actually more bioavailable to the body so that the body doesn't have to basically transform that water back to being structured. Really interesting concept. Then we can also do something with ions to get water at, at you know, basically having a different charge. This is also really cool stuff. Our bodies are electromagnetic. And one of the things I did earlier was actually go outside and ground and do some breath work and grounding. Actually, I know this sounds a bit hippy dippy, but hear me out because there's a lot of science behind grounding. When we're inside, we accumulate too many positive ions. And when we ground the earth, we basically offload those positive ions and get more negative ions from the earth. But you really want to actually make sure you're standing on the earth about maybe at least four feet away from a building so that you're not standing on potentially wiring and things like that. That's also key too. Grounding is great. Also the electromagnetic perspective and the ions. I know we're getting a little technical here, but I mean, I'm not going to give it to you airy fairy. I'm going to give you the facts. I'm going to give you the science. I'm going to give you the researcher as a practitioner and a researcher. That's what you expect. If you don't want that, then just go on YouTube and follow who knows who. So when it comes to grounding, it's great. And in my research on my article, I just came across some pretty compelling information that when our body is electromagnetically balanced, meaning we've been barefoot for about 30 to 45 minutes each day, our red blood cells don't stick together and form these chains and form clotting factors. You won't get good blood flow. You won't get good oxygen and nutrient delivery. So instead of having an afternoon coffee, go stand outside barefoot, take the dog out, something like that. Really good because then your blood is going to be flowing much better. And for the skin, if you are not grounded and your red blood cells aren't moving well, you're actually not going to get good oxygenation to your skin, which manifests as redness and dryness. Same with the eyes, actually. The eyes are also susceptible to EMFs, electromagnetic frequencies, and wireless cellular radiation too. Really interesting to know that. So here we go. We had Michelle ask about water and I talked about electromagnetics. It's a big passion of mine because in Ayurveda, the definition of radiance is the electromagnetic projection into the world of your different body systems. So body, mind, spirit, and energy in Ayurveda account for the first four bodies and radiance is the 10th body. So that emission is a reflection. So your energy, your vibrancy, your happiness, the clarity of your skin, how fast or slow you're aging is actually related to the quality of your other body system. So that's why this whole radiance thing is just so incredibly captivating to me to study, do it myself, and then teach others how to achieve it too. So that's again, why the membership is so cool. So if you have any questions about that, I'll share a booking link to check in with me. And it, also if it's been a little while, we haven't reconnected. We haven't connected in a bit and you're already a client of mine, then definitely uh, book this link. So one of the cool things about being live here is you get access to these sort of things in the chat. Okay. So number one, if you and I haven't yet met, I'd love to meet you just so that I know, you know, I can support you, get a sense of who you are, what your needs are. And if it's going to be a good fit, I'm definitely not for everybody. And nor do I want to serve everybody. I want to serve people that are going to take action. Because when I teach, I need to know that the energy and time I'm putting into teaching is going to be well used. So I don't typically work with people who just keep following the never, never plan or are really attracted and drawn to the bright, shiny objects and media and marketing. I work for, with more discerning people 
that also have maybe the name able to follow me for a bit and kind of know really what some of my values are. Tracy, thank you for your responses. And I look, I look forward to booking consultation with you. I look forward to connecting with you too. Again, tuning in and really observing people who you're considering learning from is really important. So just a tip here, if say you are listening to different experts online talking about fasting or biohacking or hormones, what you really want to do is also take a good look at their eyes. What are their eyes doing? Are their eyes constantly darting? What is their speech like? Do you feel calm and better when you listen to this person or do you feel more stressed out? <laughs> it's, it's all about being able to read people to make sure that they're a good fit for you. And um, so I prevent my clients just as much as they prevent me too. Hello, Elena. It's great to hear from you. Question, what do you think of a PRP facial, spa and at-home radio frequency technologies? Excellent question. So PRP is platelet-rich plasma. What that means is you get a blood draw and your blood's taken and is put into a centrifuge. Then different things are added to it. It's not just your own blood. They, there are things added to it. So not all PRP facials are created equally as well. There's different products that are utilized and then it's injected into say the face to rejuvenate it. The best research I've seen with PRP has actually been around hair growth stimulation and also sexual performance and sexual rejuvenation. So pretty interesting, but you'll see, you know, everywhere doing PRP. It was really popular a number of years ago. I would say instead of that, do something else that is maybe going to yield more results. So some of the things I've just seen time and time again, clients say they got a package of six, they spent like two to $3,000 on it, but they didn't get the results that they want. And there's certain things that I see on the market that that's what they do. And I wouldn't feel good with offering that or recommending that because at the end of the day, I like to sleep great knowing that I'm providing the highest level of care possible can then we also have the question of spa and at-home radio frequency treatments. Well, that also depends. Just like with IPL, there's so many different products that are available. Same with PRP, same with radio frequency. Actually, in my skincare tutorials, I do a demonstration of a piece of technology that uses sonophoresis. And what it does is it actually pushes things like antioxidants and peptides into the dermis immediately. I actually did my session on myself when I taught that lesson last week. And I just noticed my skin looked so much brighter and clearer. So there are some at-home technologies that really work. I do have that on my skin shop and in the tutorial, because it's a bit more advanced, you need some more direction and you need to see how to do it. Same with dermal rolling. So in the tutorials, I actually show you how to use everything. And then you can rewatch those lessons at your convenience and then become your own expert, your own pro, basically. Cindy, should you wash your face again with cleanser in, I'm not going to say the morning because I don't want to mourn anything. So I say the morning, the AM word, wordplay is so key. Um, should you wash your face again with a cleanser in the AM, even though you're not exposed to any pollutants during sleep? That's actually not true. <laughs> When you're sleeping, your hair's on your face, you might be cuddling up to a loved one or a furry loved one. And there's also air circulating in the room because you're indoors. You absolutely want to be washing your face when you arise and then do your skincare. If I were to wake up and not wash my face, oh my gosh, that is the worst feeling. Or if I wake up and I delay washing my face until noontime, my face just feels like itchy and does not feel good. And a lot of the things here, say, for example, my reducing oxidative stress and detox journey, I didn't know how good I could feel. Honestly, I did not know how good I could feel. So say, for example, Cindy, if you're still not using a cleanser in the AM and then rinsing it off in the bath or the shower over the sink, fully rinsing off your cleanser and washing your face twice back to back in the PM, you, if you're not doing that yet, you really don't know how good your skin can feel and then follow it up with proper moisturizers. 
So if you think that in the AM, you, you know, a splash of water is suitable, it's not because the water isn't going to be removing different things in the air or different things that you, as I sleep with eye masks on and things like that. You really want to be washing your face and also just sloughing off dead skin. And then your products are going to be better absorbed because you don't have this buildup of oils and things from the air. And uh, also it's a good idea to cleanse and exfoliate. So cleanse twice a day and then exfoliate a couple times a week to get off that top layer of skin. Looks like cornflakes. It's called the stratum corneum. And that actually can trap debris and hold on to cosmetic creams and makeup if you're not exfoliating enough, and that can actually make the skin feel more dry. Tamara, I like your Magnaflow magnesium product a lot, and I'm wondering if men can also use it as well. So funny thing about that product is, you know, I made a really stellar magnesium bisglycinate with Metagenics, which is one of the best manufacturers over 35 years of third-party independent lab testing but I can't make it in Canada anymore. There's been some regulation shifts with supplements in this country. So I can't make it anymore, which is a shame because so what's on my skin shop is all I have left. Um, the MagnaFlow magnesium that I've created, I love it. And client feedback is that within about two days, they notice that they're sleeping better. And I've used probably 10 different magnesiums over the years. And actually the one that I formulated uh, is the one that I prefer. So I'll have to find another lab I can make it with because it's really great. It's also in a capsule, or sorry, it's in a tablet, not a capsule. So it's a little bit cleaner too. Men, men, kids, women, magnesium for sleep is great. It's also really good for your muscle and soft tissue. Isn't that interesting? So if you go and check out the MagnaFlow on my skin shop, again, if it's not there when you, by, by the time you listen to it, it's because I've sold out and I don't have any more of it. But I love it. It's not only helpful for sleep, but it's also helpful for soft tissue repair. So think the skin, collagen, and elastin. There's no point investing in in clinic rejuvenation, whether that's IPL, whether that's radio frequency, whether that's erbium resurfacing, or things like neuromodulator injectables, dermal filler injectables, or even surgery. If your oxidative stress status is elevated, you really want to empty that. So check out my um, free 30 minute video on my website, just go to the freebies tab. If you're not doing that ahead of time, when you're healing, your body is going to be basically combating oxidative stress and you're not going to get as good of a result. So what I started to notice over the years was some of my clients, they were just recovering so much faster and I barely had to do anything to them. It was just incredible to see they had the most powerful rejuvenation transformation. So that's what led me down this path of really studying certain people. Why are they more beautiful? Why are they more pleasant to be around? Why do they recover so fast? And why do they get the best outcomes? And why are they just happier in general? That's what the membership is all about to cultivate that radiance because I've just been observing it for so long. Hey, Sharon. Thank you, Rachel. It is nice seeing you and getting great tips from you. My absolute pleasure. And I'm really happy that you're all here. You know, it's no mistake that we're all connected and learning and supporting from one another. So if you are looking for that guidance on what to do at home, what to do in the clinic and products, book a one-on-one -on -one over at the school of radiance.com. If you need to learn how to use your products and you are ready to build out your basic routine to do some more advanced things like serums and retinols and peels and dermal rolling and at home tech and optimize your rejuvenation journey. That's the tutorials. It's the only place I get into really expert level stuff. So if you thought this was expert level, this isn't my master classes. The podcast is more of a macro view. One-on-one -on -one is your customized routine recommendations. The tutorials are really expert tutorials. And I'm just not comfortable with taking, you know, Bill, Bob, Doug, and Sally into my bathroom with me. So I do it more in that private container. And then of course the membership is like the cherry on top, how to present, how to really enhance your personal and professional relationships and just live more radiantly. What does that look like? How do we do it? And what's involved in that? 
One of the things I would love to do with you all here is a little bit of an exercise. So get yourself comfortable in your seat. You might want to readjust yourself. You might want to take a little bit of a sip of water. Purified, of course. It could be structured. It could be ionized. It could be remineralized. Whatever water you have works. And think about where you want your skin to be in a year from now. What does that look like? Does your skin feel more glassy? Does it look clearer? Do you have fewer fine lines, wrinkles, less redness? Are your eyes sparkling? Do you just have more energy and vitality? What does that look like for you of your skin goals and also your appearance goals in general, right? Do you maybe wanna lose some extra pounds? Do you want to get more enjoyment in life and with your partner, with your spouse? Do you desire to have a deeper connection with God, spiritual practices? What does that look like for you in a year from now? If you were to think about your ideal you, what does that, what does that look like? What does that feel like? And just sit in that moment for a second. So let me know in the chat what that looked like and felt like for you. You're probably desiring to have healthier, more youthful looking skin, better energy, better sleep, just feeling more like yourself again with more balanced hormones, a better regulated nervous system and better relationships and better experiences, better opportunities. Those are probably some of the things that you might've thought about. Now, what happens if you don't do that? What happens if you don't achieve that? Then how does that feel? You'll feel like you're in the same place today in a year and then you haven't made progress. Valerie said something really key here. I wanna rock the third phase of my life now that I have reached menopause, amen sister. Good job, Valerie. There you go. I love this type of attitude, having a desire to just be your best version. And Valerie really is a rock star. And I have to say an epitome of a radiant woman. And so case in point, having this mindset of desiring to just excel and feel incredible in the third phase of your life, of whatever phase you're in, right? We're always in phases. We're always in transformations. I'm going through transformations all the time. I just went through a massive one about a year and a half ago with detoxing and fasting and all sorts of different things. I did it because I saw my clients over the years doing it. So I did it and then I figured out how to teach it. What are the strategies and steps involved? So we know where we are now. We know where we want to be, where we desire to be, look, feel, all of that, what our life looks like. But it's knowing how to get there. That's the tricky part. You can definitely piecemeal information on different summits and podcasts and YouTube videos and social media content. But is that really in alignment with your values? Is that really the best information for you personally? Not always. And then you might be doing that, but you still you know, we have Google and Google gives us basically any answer we want. So this is just an example of, even though all the information is available, it's knowing how to apply it. And that's what I do. That is what I do. I am like your secret best friend in your back pocket, mentoring you, guiding you and giving you support along the way so that you stay on track, so that you stay accountable. And then you also adapt and evolve depending on the seasons, depending on what stage of life you're in, if different tweaks need to be made. So that's really what I do at a deeper sense is I mentor you and guide you, hold you accountable and give you those updates and tweaks along the way. So I've put in the chat here, a link for us to connect if we haven't connected or if we have connected and you'd like to reconnect and just ask some questions about... <laughs> Ask some questions about the deeper stuff. So if you've already done the one-on-one -on -one with me, it's fantastic. If you haven't done a skincare tutorial session, join now. 
And if you've done all that and you're curious about that final piece, the radiance piece, oh my gosh, when I started my business in 2018, I always knew that this is what I was going to do. The skincare, the rejuvenation stuff, that was just my storefront, but there's so much more to beauty and having energy and being a radiant human and why this is so important and why it's no mistake you're here is when we lead by example, guess who notices? Your kids notice, your partner notices, your friends notice, your business associates notice. They say, hey, you're looking really good. Your body looks fantastic. Your hair is really full. You are accomplishing quite a bit. How do you have the energy to do it? It always seems so positive. This is really what's important that more of us know how to do and operate in because then other people notice. And then they ask you and they say, what are you doing? And then, you know, you don't have to give them the fire hose of oxidative stress status reduction, biohacking, skincare routines, rejuvenation planning, hair, skin, nail supplements, hair growth strategies, detoxing. It's not your job to do that. So if you find yourself going in coach mode because you've spent so much time learning, hold back a little bit and only give, you know, one piece of information or advice if you're asked. Otherwise, it's important that you reserve your energy because everyone is on their own life path and trajectory and you don't have to be in coach mode, right? Worry about yourself first, get yourself right on many levels, getting right with your family, friends, God, all that really key. And then people will observe the changes you've been making and they'll ask you, and then, Hey, you get to share some of that information and then it can spark something in their life to become a better human too. The end of the day, the more of us who are operating in a more pure way, our brain works better. We just feel better in positive emotional states. We're more beautiful. The world's going to be a better place. So that's really why I do what I do. Valerie, thank you for sharing your beautiful energy with us all. We'll write back at you. And Rochelle, thank you so much for your learned wisdom. Have to leave, but we'll be in contact. I really look forward to connecting with you. Again, I shared a opportunity for us to just kind of get to know each other because again, I'm really picky who I work with. I want to make sure it's a good fit that I can um, work with you and address your needs accordingly. Book the one-on-one. Take my skincare tutorials, with which my, my next one is happening on Saturday. And then the membership is for the deeper stuff that you got a little bit of a taste of in today's, in today's lesson. I am going to share the link for the main website in the chat, the school of radiance.com. So everything's there. And again, free stuff. If you haven't yet checked out the freebie page where you can check out a free 30 minute biohacking video based on my research. Um, there's some other resources there too. Start with that and make sure that you're subscribed to the School of Radiance podcast. There's excellent information on there with really high level speakers and experts from across the globe on all things health and vitality. And every time I do an interview, we always put the skin angle on it. We always put the beauty angle on it. How can fixing our hormones make us more beautiful? Well, if your hormones are out of whack, you're going to lose that collagen and elastin at record speed. So things like that, a lot of good free stuff. So I look forward to connecting with many of you and it's just good for you to learn how to work with me. So some people start with a one-on-one, some people start with the tutorials, they do both at a time or for the keeners out there that are really dedicated to get where they want to be in a year, they do all three one-on-one tutorials and membership. So I have some excellent resources that have taken me a long time to put together all the way back from 2018. Um, so this isn't like an overnight situation on how I present this information. It's taken a long time to figure out how to do it. Well, thank you everyone for joining me here. Um, shout out to everyone. Thank you for your questions, your comments, and your encouragement along the way too. Love you all so much. Look forward to meeting some new faces, reconnecting with some beautiful souls, and again, providing that guidance and mentorship along the way. All right, everybody. Love you all so much. Have a great day. And I'll see you again at our follow-up. First time meeting, maybe. And then also in the masterclass and on the podcast. And also stay tuned to check in with what I'm up to almost daily at Rachel Varga Official on Instagram. Love you all so much. Bye.